This is where we left off last time with two steeply dipping planes intersecting in a moderately plunging line 00743. Now it turns out that for any two intersecting planes there is always a third plane that is perpendicular to both of them. And we can find that plane using the intersection line of the first two planes. Um, the way we do that is we use the intersection line as a pole to construct the third plane. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is to rotate our uh, net so that this radius here where we've drawn a symbolic pole, the dot at the end, so that that radius there uh, goes through the uh, intersection of the two planes. So there we are um, with that radius going through 0, 0, 0743. So we're now in a position to draw a great circle for which this is the pole. So the great circle is going to be on this side of the net here where we drew the line. Um, and whereas the pole is 43 degrees in from the primitive, the great circle is going to be 43 great circles out from the center of the net. So let's draw that. We're going to go insert. We're going to pick up a shape here. Uh, we'll do our curves. We want to start over here. And we're going to go 43 great circles in, 20, 30, 40, 43 here. So I'm going to click here. Um, I'm going to click over here, 43 degrees. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here. And here. And when I get to the end, I'll double click to end my curve. And there you can see the plane that is perpendicular to the first two planes. So you can see there's another way we could have plotted this because this plane also passes through the two poles, the pole of the blue plane and the pole of the red plane. Let's change its color for uh, clarity here. Uh, let's uh, give it a uh, purple color, for example. Let's go there. Um, and uh, so there's another way we could have drawn this. We could just have drawn the great circle through those two poles. Um, so what is its orientation? Uh, well, here's our arrow. So it looks as if we've rotated our net, uh, looks like 97 degrees uh, from the starting point. We can check on that by going arrange, uh, rotate or flip, more rotation options. Here we see 97. Of course, we have to write that 097. Uh, and the dip of this plane, well, how far in is it from the primitive? Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 7 degrees in. So 47, that's of course the complement of this angle, 43. Uh, so let's label up that plane. Uh, and it is 0, 9, 7, and a slash, and then 47 degrees of dip. Uh, so there you have the uh, line of intersection of two planes and the plane perpendicular to the two starting planes.